What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out The Last Stand Aftermath, which is coming out very soon on Steam, next couple days or so. Not exactly sure when this video is going to go live, so I have to, I always have to leave it a little bit inchoate like that, dude. I don't mean to, it's just that like, eh. I don't really have like a release schedule or anything for my videos, I kind of just record stuff, and then when the mood strikes me, I upload it. So anyways, the game will be coming out in... It might be out by the time this video goes up. I don't know. But The Last Stand Aftermath is a zombie apocalypse roguelike where you are a person who is infected by the zombie virus. And inside kind of the post-apocalyptic society that you live in, being bit by a zombie effectively means that you are now a tribute. Your job is to go out into the wasteland and gather as many materials so that the healthy people can survive before the disease takes you over and you die. And so anyways, that's the general idea, is that you get a character who's got a bunch of randomized stats, a bunch of randomized skills, they've been bitten by a zombie, and you have to make do with what you have in order to bring back as many resources as possible to upgrade your base, which then makes it so that people are more healthy and whatnot, even though they've been bit for your next runs, which gives you a better chance of success. And so anyways, an interesting idea for a game. We had an opportunity to play around with the demo for this about a year ago, uh, during I think like the March or like the February I think Steam Festival, it's been a while, but the game is now officially coming out. So let's dive on in, let's take a look. You can get the game down below in the description. And aside from that, you can find links to my Discord, my Twitch stream. I will more than likely be streaming this game on the day that the video goes live. So you can swing through there if you wanted to see more of the game. But that's about it. Without warning, a previously unknown virus spread across the globe in a matter of weeks. Those who died changed biologically and were seemingly reanimated. Attempts were made by the military and Homeland Environmental Risk Control in order to contain the spread of the virus. Herc. I like the name of that. That's a good acronym right there. They failed. Okay. Some civilians eventually presented as immune. This estimated 5% of the population, and they are the only survivors. The only survivors. They're not okay, uh, we could need... We need to find new ways to survive amongst the infected, to adapt and change. The world no longer belongs to us. Why'd you stop? You out of fuel? Yup, tank's empty. There should be an old Herc checkpoint nearby. You should probably start there. They're usually picked clean, but they kept caches secured and tucked away. Okay. I shall check it out. Be strong. Good luck. Yep, we'll just hop on out of our, like, uh, our weird geo right here that we've got. And we can go take a look around. So that's our character. We have a gun. So that's a nice thing to have. At least they gave us some form of equipment before we came out here into the apocalypse to die. I can reload. Do I need to reload? Is that necessary? I thought that I already had like four bullets. For oh yeah, there we go. Pop that fool. So we got like a little, we got a little Glock right here. Okay. If I click them on the head, do they actually die? Doesn't look like it, but I'll keep testing. I'm not totally sure about that. It looks like we can jump over the barricade. What do these guys have? They got 45 caliber rounds. Is that what I'm using? Or is my nine millimeter Parabellum? A rag. Okay. Uh, it appears to me as though I do have a machete. Okay, so if I'm not aiming, it basically uses the same system as State of Decay. If I'm holding down right click, then it goes into gun mode. And if I just left click, I'll slash with a machete. There we go. Wow, she's actually pretty good with a machete. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, it wouldn't let me. Okay, I was like, how come it's not attacking? I'm pushing the button to attack, but it's because the tutorial wanted me to dodge. I don't believe in dodging. Dodging is for people that don't attack hard enough. Uh, let's see here. Tell me you're a Bloodborne player without telling me you're a Bloodborne player. All right, we got pocket knife over here. I'll take it. I don't know if that's really going to be that useful. A little pen knife. Nine millimeters is what we're using because the number actually went up right there. Okay. Sounds good. How do I know? Oh, okay. So there's the rounds I've got chambered right there. I'm sorry. I've got in the magazine. That guy kind of glitched out over the barricade. Okay. Is there any kind of, like, finish them off on the ground move? Like, when they're laying on the ground, can I just give them, like, the good old curb stomping or something? It doesn't look like I actually have a means to hit something that's on the ground. Oh, no, dude. My weapon broke. It's okay, though. We've got, like, oh, I thought we had fists of steel. I guess we don't have fists of steel. 
Well, we kind of do. She's got hands on her, dude. She's getting them with that Ronda Rousey right there, that bop, bop, bop. Get them with that left, left, right. You know, you feed them up with a couple of jabs from the left, just test out the waters, then you hit them with that right straight. She's got it, dude. She's got the moves. All right, what do we have in here? Some more 9 millimeter rounds. Well, apparently every single zombie in this area was carrying massive munitions before anything else went down. All right, we got 47 bullets. I'm feeling confident right now. What is this? A crate. It's got a chem light. Okay. I don't know exactly how I use the chem light. How do I swap in a weapon? I think we're, like, tutorial locked right now because it won't let me open my inventory or anything. So I've got, like, a suspicion that we're tutorial locked. Yeah, just kick it. That'll fix it. That's how machinery works. You just got to give it a, a liberal application of getting kicked in the chest. Yeah, I'll probably kill you. I'm going to reload real quick. I got a bad feeling about this. This is not looking so great. Uh, I'm going to run over to here. I'm going to spray you guys down. Can I shoot those? Okay, let's blow those up. Maybe that'll give me like a little bit of cover. And they like to zigzag and stuff too. All right, are we living through this or is this going poorly? I can't decide if the fire's at... Oh my God, there's so many. Yeah, this is bad. This is not great. I would like for this situation to be resolved. Uh, I'm going to go through the door right here, and maybe there will be, like, an angle I can escape from. I'm going to shoot that. That did not help altogether that much, and it appears as though we have run out of runway. So, yeah, maybe maybe jump over the barricade. That might be an okay idea. Get off me. Oh, God. All right, death is not the end. The world outside the colony is harsh. This cell will have volunteers. Members of the colony who are infected and have chosen to make their last stand beyond the walls of the end. Okay. Uh, so we only have this guy right here, although he does have, like, a really, really... He's got, like, a Burt Reynolds mustache thing going on that I think bodes well for his long-term survival. This seems to be the only guy that I can take. So that's the guy I'm going to take. It doesn't look like we have any other options. You guys can let me out of the cell, please. Okay. Yeah, if you guys let me out of the cell, I promise to be good. I won't go straight like crazy zombie mode and eat you all. I promise. I know you're dying, so I'm going to keep it short. Doc Stedman says most of you only have a few days. They probably didn't tell you when you signed up for this, but the colony's starving. We need you to go to the wall. Find a way out. We need supplies, weapons, ammo, but the dead zone has been picked dry. Take this car, find what you can, and call it in. Talk to Stedman before you go. He's got an antiviral for you. Any questions? Nope, I got it. I see the lay of the land. I admire what you're doing. You can make a difference. That's all I've ever wanted to do. I mean, I usually prefer that the things that I do be additive, like sort of like a sum. But if we've got to make a difference out here, we'll make a difference. Is this Doc Stedman over here? Uh, next volunteer, huh? My name's Doc Stedman. I'll be overseeing your exit today. Take this. It's an auto-injector for the antiviral. You'll need to find a hurt comm station. They usually have refills. Was there anything else I can assist you with? Nope. Sounds good to me. So basically, our infection meter is going to go up, and we have to find those Herc stations so that we can refill our injector. That way we can feel better. Start this thing on up, dude. That doesn't sound good, dude. Our car sounds like it's seen better days. Apparently we're going to the uptown. Uptown's planned. He's rolling around in a car with a gat. He's gonna shoot some zombies, make them splat. All right, look. I don't know if you can use splat, gat, then splat again for the rhyme scheme. That seems a little lazy. You're out of fuel, not again. I'll kill that asshole. Buzzard. Ah, shit. Sorry, boss. The boys must have forgot to fill her up. You're downtown, right? We got a drop zone there with some gas. Go grab it. If you get another volunteer killed, I swear to God. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna be okay. So they gave me, like, this little... They gave me this little tiny, like, Taurus Model 85 over here with pistol on the gri... Or with... 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 <laughs> with paper on the... When they got the... They got the duct tape on the handle, man. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll check this car over here. It looks empty. We can duck underneath here. Anything inside of there? Oh, cool. So there's actually zones inside of... Oh, that's not good. Don't like that. Um, You know, I feel like using a gun in this case may be inadvised. Maybe I'll just take him out real fast with the, uh, with the old wrenchy dude, dude. 
Yeah, it looks like I can't hit them while they're on the ground. You'd think that I would have like a finisher or something, kind of State of Decay style. I'll light this up real fast so that we can see. There we go. Now we got a little bit of illumination. It would be kind of cool if loot spots showed up once you had illumination, but like they didn't exist before you had it. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. Oh, we can kick the thing open. Is that going to like draw zombies to me? I think we're good. A little fuel that remains is of pretty low quality. As a result, you can't make it far. Okay, well, I mean, we've got the gas can. I do like the way it attaches to our character's back. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back outside, and I'm going to search the rest of the street for anything that might be useful out here. I do appreciate that they're allowing me to do this during daybreak, though, instead of having to do it like in the dead of night. It just seems stressful doing it at night. There's a bottle. I'll take it, I guess. There's a board. Okay, I'll take that, too. There's a Herc station. They did tell me to look for Herc stations. Maybe I'll get my viral refill there. A gear. Okay, let me just... I'm going to get the street first, and then we'll worry about, like, all the little alcoves and little kind of duck-in points. Are any of these buildings enterable? No, they've got those, like... I don't even know what those are called, but basically they're, like, door brace things that keep people from going in and out. At least the cops use them or something. I mean, I've never seen one in real life. I've only seen them in video games. But you kind of get what I'm getting after here. And we got a little bit more loot over here. Nothing inside of there. Okay. Let's check the Herc station then. I don't think we can get over that fence. Herc station. We got a battery right there. Oh, uh, so we used one of our batteries in order to recharge this thing. Okay. Doc, you there? Stedman here, you get the antiviral? I did, just one dose. Good. Remember, that dose is only going to last so long. Keep an eye out for Herc structures. Most of them have dispensers installed. Make sure to stay focused and get the supplies. All right. Is there anything else I can grab inside of here, like anything lootable? Doesn't look like it, so I guess we'll just kind of head back to the car and be on our merry way. I assume that that right there is our viral meter. Oh, my gun isn't even reloaded, dude. Yeah, let's just kind of... I didn't even realize that would have been bad. All right, let's refill this thing. Okay, so we got three units of gas to play around with. I didn't actually think to check behind where I spawned in, but it looks like I can't get over the top of that, so I guess there's no enemies around here? I'm just going to hop back in the car and get on out of here, although it looks to me like we're trapped, but hey. Sometimes being trapped can be a wonderful motivator. All right, so Union City. We can select a destination. We have the restaurant. Oh, I see what they're getting at. Okay. So we've got kind of like a Slay the Spire spread of maps. I wonder if these are procedural. Like, I remember this from the demo, but I don't I don't know if, like, the whole thing's going to be procedurally generated from, like, pre-existing chunks. Okay, we got ourselves a night mission. All right. Well, we got two units of gas left, so we can bail when we need to. Uh, we can focus. Okay. Okay, and it'll just kind of tell me what I can loot. All right, well, that's a nice little feature to have. Nothing inside of there. We got another bottle over here. I assume that I throw the bottles. Oh, sweet, dude, we got some gas. Let's take this back to the car real quick. This might, like, secure our survival for a little while longer. Hey, there we go. Five units of gas. My tank's all full. We can, kinda, can I put things in the trunk? Is that an option? Like, do I have to... So, do I have, like, inventory limitations or anything? I do have inventory limitations. That's... I actually... I called it. That's exactly what our gun is. It's a Toron 9mm. In real life, this gun's called a Taurus Model 85, and it's a 38 Special. I know, because I own one. <laughs> it's a great little pocket snubby, dude. It's a good little pocket gun. I like it. Uh, let's see here. It looks like I can also work on the car, just in case it's got any damage to it. I'm not going to, like, sneak around, dude. I'm not like... Okay, I guess I'll sneak a little bit. I didn't realize how many zombies there were. Uh, how much focus do I have left? Plenty. All right, so we know that there's zombies over there. I wonder if they can be triggered by noise. Uh, we've got scrap over here. I'll take that. How much you want to bet there's something really good in that little back room? we got a rag right there. Electronics. 
Okay. I mean, I don't know if I would count a, a cassette tape as being electronics. An exercise book. And a rag. Alright, so you got some knowledge. Some items you find, they give information that's useful to the colony. Find an upgrade radio, and you can use this to research permanent upgrades for your volunteers. Don't worry, all knowledge points pass on to the next volunteer when they die. Okay, so I guess we've learned how to be more physically fit. Contaminated water, painkillers, and a rag. Alright, well none of this stuff appears to be altogether that heavy. I don't know if I want to deal with the zombies right there, because it may call in that group from the outside. But there may also be something good in there. Can I just close the door to keep myself safe for a second? It's hard to say if there's anything inside of there. I'm just going to kind of like blast them as they come through. We don't have any kind of like improvised silencer or anything though, so like this is sort of dubious. Oh no. Is that gonna blow up? Please don't blow up. I just I need you not to blow up right now. If you blow up now, you'll not Oh, a hunting magazine, nice. Okay, I'll take that. We got some alcohol right there too. We've got a pocket knife. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. We've got some alcohol and we've got some tape. I kind of feel like I know where they're going with this. Oh, yeah, dude. So we get, like, an upgrade radio, and then we can upgrade all this stuff right here. Gotcha. So you pick up some knowledge or whatever as you're moving along. Got canned meat right there. That counts as a medical heal. We've got contaminated water. Maybe harmful. We've got a throwable bottle. Okay. Yeah, maybe give me the bottle real fast. Oh, I see what you gotta do. You gotta, like, tap it. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, but that swaps off my gun. Ooh. Okay. I see how it works. I just had to fiddle with it for a second. It's definitely kind of, like, built for controllers. This is definitely, like, a port. But, like, it works. So, like, I, I don't think there's anything to worry about there. I'm just gonna take that guy out real fast. It looks like our weapon has limited charges. Yeah, every time I hit him, it looks like my weapon's gonna break. We got a brick right there? Yeah, dude, a brick will do some solid damage if we can throw that at somebody's head. Let me reload the old pistol real fast. Yeah, you guys wanna pull over here? I don't wanna fight you all at the same time. But I'm okay with fighting like one of you. Okay, I got bit a little bit. I got a little bit scuffy, Boyd. My weapon has broken. I don't really want to fight unarmed. Does the game pause or anything? Uh, instead of unarmed, give me the pocket knife real fast. This only has 10 charges, though, so... I would say maybe don't expect miracles out of this poor little blade that's being repurposed to do something it was never meant to do. Kill a guy. There we go. We have, however, successfully killed a guy. Your infection is continuously spreading, reducing your maximum health. When it fills a bar, it will trigger a mutation. Okay. I guess I'll inject myself. I don't know if it refills the bar, but... At least it'll hold it off for a little bit. So we are on a very real time limit right now. Okay, so I've only got like two swings left on this knife. Kind of had to hope that we were going to get them right there. Durability, a little low on these weapons, but I assume at some point we're going to get upgrades that make them last a little bit longer. Go ahead and whoop that guy right there. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the back alley real quick. I just want to make sure that like if I have to escape at a moment's notice, I can do that. Now, there's nothing right there. We do have a vending machine, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop that. Get away from me. The pipe actually seems to be pretty good. Pipe's not too bad. Pipe kind of gets the job done. Okay. Fair enough. It puts them down way quicker, and it's getting crits left and right. 
I think that's like when the little hit marker flashes red. It's giving you a crit right there. Just like an instant kill. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we'll take the board now. The board doesn't have the greatest durability, but we've got two of them. So we're making up for a lack of quality by making sure that we have, like, you know, a lot of durability. Uh, we can't get to that door back there, and this looks like kind of the end of the road on this side. Let's head back this way, and we're going to check out the diner since that was what they named the map after. Well, that didn't work. Apparently, these guys are too sturdy for firearms. Either that or we're really bad at shooting. One of the two. If I get closer, does it get easier to put them down? Does not appear to be the situation. Maybe we try to get them with a pipe or something. Oh, God, get off me, dude. Get off me. These guys are tougher than I expected. I put a lot of bullets into these dudes. Like, I just gave up, like, serious resources to get these guys. Maybe killing is not the best course of action. I'm just going to close the door off, and we'll just kind of save the remainder of our durability so that we don't have to worry about it. Is there anything laying around in here? Oh, he just opened the door. Okay, so we're dealing with, like, Velociraptor intelligence monsters here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Wow, we actually just got smoked, dude. I'm going to go ahead and dodge roll past you. I don't see any point in killing you, though. Can I tear open this transformer? Another board right there. I'll take that. My real question is, do the enemies respawn, or am I good to go once I've cleared the map out? kind of feel like we should just bail. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Still really disappointed by the fact that it looks like I can't execute things that are on the ground. Maybe I should play around with some different keys. Yeah, let's get out of here, dude. We will go so there is a compound, colonial drive, and a neighborhood. So I'm assuming the little skulls are probably annotating how dangerous it is. Let's stick to the simpler stuff for right now while I'm still getting the lay of the land and, like, a feel for how this is going to go. Because, like, I'm not... I don't have that much confidence in my zombie survival skills right now. I'm at, like, a 6 out of 10 on the confidence meter. Like, these weapons, they break real fast. I have a penchant to fight things when I should probably walk away. It's just, you know, I'm a fighter. I can't help it, dude. I don't want to run from these punks. Alright, so you get the board. Yep, welcome to my board meeting. Enjoy. Down you go. Let me go ahead and grab another one real fast. I believe it's possible that might be my last board, though. Now, you guys got any loot on you? Sketch pad. Okay, I'll take it. A little bit more knowledge for the knowledge file. There are a lot of zombies around. How good does my sneaking work? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, pretty solid. I hear a lot of frenzied breathing. But... I'm just going to ignore that frenzied breathing and just go about my day. You know what I mean? Ignorance is bliss. Strange, they've got a bed inside their dining room. Interesting decorating choice. I'm not against it. Like, sometimes you get the itis right after you get done eating, and you just got to, like, roll into some kind of sleeping surface and black out for, like, five to six hours. It happens to the best of us. Accounts book. Okay, 9 millimeter rounds. That's a good find. I'll definitely take that. Is there any kind of, like, crafting or anything that I can do? My resistance has almost run out, too, so we're going to need to find a Herc station. But without a battery, the Herc station isn't really going to be that helpful anyways. An upgrade terminal would be a good idea. That way we can just bank our upgrades real fast. Got a bandage right there. I will take the gasoline.
does look like we can probably get into here somehow. Oh, there's a barricade right there. Oh, he's an exploder. Oh, no, dude. Okay. You know, I saw the tubby belly on him, but I couldn't really decide if he was going to explode on me or if he was just going to be real, real tanky. Like, sometimes it can be hard to tell. Uh, poison is a very real risk in this game. That's what I'm learning. Poison is a huge problem. All right, so we've mutated. Deal 10% more damage to undamaged enemies. Oh, so this is actually, like, good for us. We get more aim damage. Your vision is fading, closing into a point, but it's giving you more focus. Okay, so it's like, it's not a bad thing when you mutate. You actually get better at your job. Uh, eventually, this poison will go away. I hope. Pipe. Okay, that's a good find. I feel like we got good mileage out of the pipe last time. Can I do, like, some healing or something? That's what I'd like to do. Let's do some healing or something. G. All right. How much is this going to help me out? Oh, I do like how he puts the backpack down and he actually rifles through it to find the stuff. Yeah, go ahead and give me some HP back. As long as I can heal it off, I'm okay. Uh, what else we got out here? Not much. Can I get maybe a canned meat? That's like, a, I don't think that's going to help. Painkillers are pretty good, though. I'm going to wait till I take a little bit more damage, though, before I use the painkillers, because it says they give me 50 HP. And I'm guessing these chunks are like 25s, maybe? It's hard to say. I don't know. There's no way to actually, like, verify no. But we did get that house picked through. I don't know if it was worth it. But we did it, so that's good. Uh, let's see if I can refuel this bad boy right here. The cop car over on this side. I was sort of hoping that maybe inside the cop car we could find some bullets or something. Oh, yeah. Let me get my gun back up, too. Oh, dude, I'm on fists right now. Hold on. We got to do something about that. Oh, meat cleaver. Oh, meat cleaver. Good at meat cleaver's job. Okay. Meat cleaver. Are those little kids? Maybe that's why they're going down with one hit. Sort of like that old ancient question, how many six-year-olds do you think you could fight before you gassed out and they overtook you? Apparently, the answer to that question is well into the double digits at this point for this character. All right. Ooh, free battery. Nice. If we can find a Herc station, I think we can, like, put off... Well, I mean... I wonder if that opens up the street when it blows up. Oh, that's not a blow-up thing. That's one of those little water tank things that they put on the side of the road to slow down semis. Meat cleaver's pretty good. I'm fairly happy with the way this meat cleaver is working out for me here. I do need another weapon, though. We're going, we're going in on the pipe, man. We're going in on the pipe. Normally, being on the pipe during the apocalypse, I would say, is a bad idea as far as judgment calls go. Because, like, really, if you think about zombie settings... The zombies themselves are not the real threat in zombie movies. You are the threat in zombie movies. Like, so zombies are like a terrible monster that like, if you play your cards right, definitely should not get you. They're slow, they're stupid, their only advantage is in numbers, but like, the reason people get got in zombie movies is because they slip up, they make a mistake, they get lazy, you know, they don't pay attention, so on and so forth. And so, like, to that extent, I just feel like zombies... Oh, there was a loot point right here. Can I have some bullets? A red dot sight. I don't know if a red dot sight is going to have, like, a Picatinny. I, I, you know, I it just I feel like it's really unlikely that our old Model 85 here has, like, a Picatinny that we can kind of, like, capitalize on. I don't think that this is the sort of gun that you can mount optics to. An infected blood sample. What does that do for me? Either way, we got to find our... Ooh, a damaged M16. Is it loaded? It is not loaded. And it's also got the... It's got wood furniture on the front of it. So they made like a cork foregrip for it? Either that or it's not actually an M16. 
Although it's got the tinny on top. I don't know. I was thinking maybe it was that weird Russian variant. There's there's a Russian variant of the M4 that uh, has wood furniture on it. I forget the name of it. All right, let's go back over here, and there's a bottle. You know, something tells me I'm supposed to be using bottles to distract zombies instead of fighting them all, but I just can't help it, dude. I got to go full berserker mode on them. Sure. Get some last mileage out of that pipe. Make that last swing worth it. Uh, what is this? A supply cache. The items contained in the supply cache will be converted into supplies for future. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I don't even have a shotgun. So, like, I feel like 120 shotgun shells is not really that helpful in a world where I don't have shotguns. Like, in a best-case scenario, I'm, like, throwing them at, at zombies. Oh, I do like how crows and stuff and ravens come down to feast on the dead. That's kind of a cool little detail. All right, well, I think we picked through this place. If there's no, like, Herc dispenser or anything around here, I think it's probably best that we just go. Oh, dude, my engine's starting to take some wear and tear, man. There's a vendor over here, possibly. Yeah, let's go over here. Maybe I'll be able to trade in some of this busted gear for something that's actually going to be worthwhile. I remember the name of the Russian gun now. It's the ADAR. That's the name. You still with us? Uh, yeah, I'm dying. That's why I'm checking in. I'm well aware. Don't worry. We got new volunteers turning up every couple days. Anything we can learn by you being out there is going to be crucial. You got this. Don't give up just yet. You find any more antiviral? Nope. Keep looking. The Herc structures have dispensers in them. Most of them will be unlooted. Never had a use for this stuff. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. The new infection has come from somewhere. Call it in if you see anything. All right, you got it out. Let me get another weapon. Get that busted meat cleaver, although I'm not entirely optimistic that it's going to hold for very long. But the meat cleaver does give you, like, two taps, which is really, really nice. I'm about to get a second infection, dude. Or a second mutation. Okay, so it says there's, like, a car. There's, like, a questionable thing over on the other side. There's a bunch of zombies back here. Well, we didn't get got, so that's good. Fresh blood, deal 10% damage to good enemies. Taking damage restores stamina. You get more healing effectiveness, but your stamina items are less good. Okay, I'll take that. I haven't really felt like I had to worry too much about stamina, in all honesty. Although, maybe I have to eat or something to make the meter come back. I was assuming that the meter was going down in accordance with how much I'm infected right now. But that actually may not be the case. I may still have, like, food and hunger I need to take care of. Let's try it out. Oh, that did restore my stamina meter. Okay, so I'm supposed to be eating and drinking and feeding myself as well. We have learned new things today. Board. Plastic bottle. Nine millimeter rounds. Definitely useful. I was holding off on reloading because I was kind of like worried about my ammo supply, but we picked up a few more rounds. I've been trying not to use the gun. Oh, yeah, dude. We leveled up or something. We got like a level up meter up there. Does it do anything? We have enough uh, we have enough resources for some of the upgrades if I can find like the little radio transceiver. There's a little like download icon right here that may be relevant. Give them two bullets right there. I would love Oh, I got a splodoed on again, dude. That might be goose eggs for me, man. Yeah, use the painkillers. Use the painkillers. Oh, if you're healing, it stops the progress. Oh, it's a heal over time. Okay. Okay. 
scientific white papers, some scrap, encyclopedia, 9mm shotgun rounds. Okay. We got some goodies around here. Actually, this is kind of a money house right here. This house kind of had the goodies. Uh, I need to get another weapon. Yeah, I guess that 2x4 will do it. Yeah, maybe jump over the fence until I can reload. We're kind of we're kind of trying to do some ugly thumb loading right now. I assume that the green bullets do more damage from the perfect reload. Oh, I mutated again. No. All right, so we can get unarmed damage and melee resistance. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good actually. I do like that the mutations are positive. It's kind of like a salve for, you know, the fact that you're losing. I sort of dig that. Oh, this is the vendor right here. Welcome, friend. My name is Mikhail. What brings you to this wonderful wasteland? Looking for supplies? Maybe I can help with that. I collect things. Valuable things that might be useful, but I'm looking for things from the old world. Like what? Anything that carries knowledge. Old books, hard drives, personal notes. You find those, I can give you more things to survive. I move around a bit. I'm sure you'll see me around. Let me show you what I've got. You do have a shotgun. He's also got 5.56. Five, so it looks like I can go in and I can sell some stuff. Oh, he'll give me knowledge, too. So you don't sell items for actual, like, money. You sell it for knowledge. So you can actually have, like, feeder runs where you get rid of all your gear in order to get tons of knowledge to level up your guys. I like that. Okay, well, my name is Splattercat. This is The Last Stand Aftermath. You guys should check it out. If you wanted to see more, I'll be streaming it the day that this video goes live. You'll get an extra four hours or so to kind of appraise whether or not this is worth your time. I haven't noticed anything except for, like, the models are a little bit janky. But, like, other than that, like, everything else feels okay. We can take a look at the options menu since you guys have expressed that you like that. As far as accessibility goes... They've got options for hearing impaired people, colorblind people, photo sensitivity. You can also adjust the user interface size just in case you're hard of eyesight, so that's good. Gameplay, it looks like we can get rid of health and stamina counters. We can have enemy outlines added just in case you wanted to. The audio mixer, standard fair stuff. Uh, video things you can play around with. V-Sync is there. That can be nice just in case you have tearing. You can swap the monitor it displays on. That's kind of an underrated option. Uh, we've got a frame rate limiter over here. That's really, really good if you're planning on recording. We've got anti-aliasing, just in case you wanted the models to be a little bit smoother and cleaner. And we've got quality over here, shadow quality, ambient occlusion, uh, bloom, sharpen, volumetric lighting, brass effects. Uh, there's controller setup over here. The game is controller compatible, just in case you're wondering about that. The keys are rekey bindable. Languages that are available... Are right there so it looks like we've got everything from English to Russian to Japanese and it looks like we've also got Portuguese and I'm sure there's gonna be more localization as well it's about all I got for you my name is Splattercat this is the last stand aftermath I'll see y'all later thanks for stopping on in leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it that's all I got for you bye everybody